We'd go out there on Saturday, we'd go out there and pick that cotton. And then we'd take our cotton back there, and Uncle Willie would weigh it, and he'd give us whatever it was, you know, any a pound. He'd, he'd, he'd pick 10 pounds, he got a dime, 20 pounds. And I don't think I could pick more than about 25 pounds. I think she ought to pick maybe 100 pounds. I never could get very much. I didn't have to pick cotton. That was one thing I did. And, and I did dig that potatoes. And then we'd get that, <laughs> With the re- get the money. Uncle Willie was a pay us all that money, you know. <laughs> and that's a whole bunch. Of I knew the whole bunch. He was always with us. A whole bunch really of Peter and Daryl and all them. And then that night, Uncle Willie would take us all up to the shore and they'll. Try and have to pay him. At Down Springs, see. And he had that truck, old. One, it's a Model A truck, it was Model T at first, and then he had a Model A. He could put these, it was a flatbed, but they had where you could put these posts in there and make the cattle. Y'all ride on there? For the cattle truck. He put us all back in that, put the posts and all the cattle, like cattle truck. Put all those kids in the back of that truck and ride to Dell Springs. Go to the and, show. And we'd go to the show, and we'd have enough money to go to the show and maybe buy some popcorn or candy or something. And uh, they always had like a, a cereal. Uh, you know, every week the same, they'd be pretending, then they'd have a comedy, then they'd have a newsreel, and then they had the show. <laughs> and, and while, while we was in there watching the show, he was down at the pool hall playing pool or something, you know, and uh, down at the cross street down there. And then it, it was over with, he'd come pick us all up and take us back home. That was our fun. What do you think about that, Sarah? I can't imagine. <laughs> like I can't that? imagine. Would you like to do that? Well, didn't he? I can't imagine picking cotton in general. <laughs> Did yeah? Them two right there went to. Papa, didn't you tell me one time your mama forgot to pick you up yeah. after the movies one night? Yeah. How'd you get home? Cops took me home. <laughs> <laughs> what time was it? Well, at twelve o'clock on Third Street, they turned the lights out. And then when they turned the lights out, boy, you got to start worrying. Then. <laughs> Well, the other thing is about to shut down. It just ain't nothing hard to move it back in them days. And I waited and waited and waited. My mama did come pick me up, and I'd been waiting a couple of hours. And the lights went out the other thing, and the cop come by uh, walking, and he said, asked me what I was doing. I told him, hey, I was waiting on my mother. She could pick me up. I've been waiting a couple of hours. He said, well, I'm getting off, off of duty in a, in a few minutes. I'll come by and pick you up and take you home. So he, he, another, him and another cop come out and take me up, and they took me home. Well, how old were you? Well, I don't know. Ten years old. Now. Ten years old? Can you imagine? Walking to school.